seasons change fast around here, so. <laughs> Yes, bro. Mom. Dada, mama, dada, mama. Large toppers on big trucks like this are a real pain to get off, so this has been on the list of things to do. Now that the snow is melted, it's time to make a lift. It worked. A little extra janky, but she totally works. That should make it a lot easier to get the topper off so the family can go camping, but it's time to go fishing. That is the sketchiest thing about trying to get this thing on my truck.
Okay, today's the 13th. We got about seven to ten days for the fish to come from the counter downstream up to where we're fishing. And we've got 15 to 21,000 fish per day. So hopefully they'll be here tonight. text the wife uh, in the land of the midnight sun uh, it's actually midnight right now and uh, we're a little late getting on the sat phone texting the wives saying we're okay so yeah chief he's not happy it's only 1 30 in the morning So we're back to fishing this afternoon. What time did we finish last night? Three. Three o'clock in the morning. And that's when the fish were running. And we got some fish. Look at that king. Holy cow. 32 fish yesterday. Just need a couple of more to fill our freezers and then we'll be out of here. So here's the gear we're using. Ian bought the sweet fiberglass poles and used a little bender, bought some hardware and some nets, and he built the hoop to the, the legal dimensions, but in the, the shape we needed. Also added a piece of hose on the bottom to keep the net from getting torn up. And the technique is you start your float up, upstream and you lightly bounce the net off the bottom, drifting downriver and hoping you run into a couple. The other part of the technique is uh, staying close to the cliff and within 20 to 70 feet of the cliff really uh, you could be a little bit closer but that's the that's the technique <laughs> Thank you. 
the king. We're ready to get out of here. That's a good way to end this. on the wall and they get chopped off and picked up by the boats. It's pretty crazy. Alaska's Copper River personal use subsistence fishery is an amazing thing to be a part of for Alaskans who are residents here. Lots of people dip net from shore, which we did for years. Uh, we dip net down in these cliffs. You guys ready? which can be really dangerous. The water is mostly glacial runoff, which is super silty and ice cold. People normally tie off when fishing from the steeper cliffs. People also get dropped off by boats to fish the cliffs or dip net out of the boat like we do. The Copper River, Chinook, or King Salmon, along with the Sockeye Red Salmon, are some of the best in the world. For myself and others, this truly is a unique and special fishery to take part in. Along with this, and moose hunting in the fall really makes you feel Alaskan. Being able to fill the freezers for another year, throw in a little gold prospecting, and you're living the Alaska dream, for me anyway. After being up here for 10 years, I can truly say that the beauty of this place is something to experience. And I just wanted to share a little bit of this special place with you guys. Packing up, heading for home. What do you think, Ian? Success. Pretty good trip. Yep, it's fun. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I know it's not cutting boards, but you know, hanging out with my master carpenter buddy here, and uh, a lot that I've learned is all come from this guy. So, you know, this is just part of uh, taking you guys along for the ride. Cheers. As long as you put it on the qualified captain. Neighbors are getting stuck. It's typical for Chitna. Ford. And it's a Ford. Don't, don't spin, don't spin, don't spin. There you go.
So we go from the cooler, to scrubbing them down, cleaning them up, fillet. We're gonna take the fillets, cut them to size, vacuum pack them. This is the uh, chamber vacuum. Food for the family. How many hours we got left? Four. Four more hours. That thing's huge. So this is 10 fish worth. It's been in the brine for uh, just overnight, about 8 to 10 hours. Now they get a good rinse, a dry, a glaze, smoke, and canning time. We have our Copper River Reds with our homemade teriyaki, brine, smoked salmon with cherry and apple and charcoal. There is some jalapenos, habaneros, and garlic. Time for cannon.
wish I could share this with you guys. It is amazing. I've been working on uh, this recipe for 10 years, and I'm going to put it all down below in the description for you guys. So if you want to try this, I can't send a can out to you, but you can make it yourself. Thanks for following along. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Really appreciate everyone who has watched this entire video to the end. So for you guys, I will give away five cans of my smoked salmon here. I can't ship this international, so this is just for the people in the United States. Comment down below using smoked salmon in the first two words so I can find the comments easier. This giveaway will end on the 31st of July, July 31st, 2021. Thank you guys so much. Cheers.